Hi, I'm Jerry Ellsworth. This weekend I was trying to grow high quality aluminum oxide layers with an anodization process, but instead I ended up with terrible quality oxides and porous aluminum foil. Instead of considering this a failure, I decided to figure out a way to use this, and I came up with a way to make an electroluminescent display without the conductive glass layer. I start by cleaning the foil with isopropyl alcohol and use the paper towel to smooth out the foil. I transfer a vinyl sticker onto the aluminum foil to protect areas that I don't want etched. I trim the excess and leave a tab to be attached to the power supply. The bath is a saturated solution of boric acid and water. I'm using a rusty razor blade for the cathode and the anode will be the workpiece, the positive side. The supply current was 20 volts and limited to 1 amp. The etch time took about 15 minutes. The extra piece of foil floating in the solution is a control to show that the etching is occurring between the anode and the cathode and not from the solution. I'm certain other electrolytes can be substituted for the boric acid. This is just what I used in my failed experiment earlier this weekend. Here I'm illustrating that you can use an illumination source from the bottom side to check your endpoint. You can see the porosity in the aluminum as I shine the laser through. When I was satisfied with the etch, I removed it from the bath, rinsed it and dried it, and then applied tape to the back side. This will be the side that the light will shine through. The tape adds strength to the fragile foil and prevents the phosphors from leaking out through the pores. Next, I applied electroluminescent phosphorus to the etched areas and allowed it to dry. Completely cover the phosphor with the dielectric insulating layer and allow it to dry. And the final stage is the conductive ink, which is a silver-based paint. Again, allow that to dry. And now to test the display. I got a little crazy with the silver paint and uh, shorted the edge of the display. But once I scraped that back, the display started working. And then I taped some wires to the conductors. And here's the result. I think it turned out pretty nice. And it's flexible. You can also put it inside or wrap it around things. Thanks for watching.